Hi guys and welcome to another video. I know it's been a long time but I've been quite busy. I thought I would make this quick short video on how to use uh, Python to build the Renko charts. Um, in this video we take a look at how to create the Renko charts in Python using the MT4 CSV data export. So what the script does is it essentially exports the MT4 market data into a CSV format. You then need to drop the CSV output into the Python folder from where you would run the script and you just execute the script and the end result is the chart that you see in uh, the window. Um, quickly let's run through the use cases. Um, you might find the script to be useful especially if you don't want to use any of the MT4 Renko converters. Uh, you may want to analyze the Renko charts on different time frames and maybe test out different Renko box sizes without these uh, causing additional load on your MT4 platform. Um, your trading platform essentially does not allow you to create a customized uh, indicator that would uh, render the Renko charts. Now, although we talk about the MT4 data, essentially all you need is just a CSV file format and that's about it. And well, last but not the least, you just like Python and uh, you want to make use of uh, the power of Python rather than stick to the, uh, your standard trading terminals. So what you need is from the context of MT4, you need a CSV converter script or an indicator. Or if you just have any CSV file, that's more than enough. The most important part is your CSV file should be formatted with the date, time, open, high, low, close. Um, you obviously need the Python environment and uh, we make use of Jupyter Notebook here because it's kind of easy and uh, user friendly. And last but not the least, you will need a couple of packages as well. So let's quickly dive into how you can build your own Python charts um, using CSV data. So obviously the first thing you need is to open up your MT4 terminal and you can pull up any chart time frame of your choice. For this example, I'm looking at the S&P 500. And uh, I found this uh, handy little indicator called Convert CSV. And what this essentially does is that uh, it converts the data into the open, high, low, close um, CSV. So you just drag and drop this data and uh, the settings are well, actually, there are no settings. You just leave everything as is. And once you download, um, drag and drop this onto your chart, you would get a message that uh, the number of bars were generated. Now, of course, I'm making this video during the market close, but when the market is live and active, you would see multiple uh, such alerts. So all you can do is just click on your indicators and uh, delete that. And what the script does is that it essentially um, converts the market data that you see here and saves it into a CSV file. The CSV file would then be created in this format. So you have the symbol and then the time frame that is applicable for it. Now let's quickly take a look at how the CSV file is uh, formatted. So here you have your date open, high, low, close. Now we are looking at the 60 minute chart. So obviously you would also have time as uh, one of the factors. But if you were looking at the daily chart, you would simply see the date as well. The most important aspect is to ensure that your headers are all in lowercase and it follows the same structure of date, open, high, low and close. All right, so let's now take a look at uh, what happens next. So once the indicator uh, downloads the data, it would create the files in your MT4 um, data folder. And from there, you can just copy paste the files and push it onto the uh, folder where your uh, MT4, or sorry, your Python scripts are located. So that's what I've done here. So I've got my 60 minute and the daily chart time frame. You can now open up the Python script and uh, you can essentially just execute uh, the file. But let me quickly walk you through uh, the code itself. So I've uh, pretty much given um, the appropriate headers and comments. So, you know, it's um, 
quite straightforward and uh, you know where to make the changes. So we begin with importing the packages. So we have pandas, uh, we have the stock trends package and numpy. Now here is where we define the uh, CSV file name. So as you can see, I have my daily and my uh, hourly um, CSV files here. Then I make use of the columns 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, which is essentially your date, open, high, low, and close. Um, I also for, do a little bit of formatting to the dates and sort it in the uh, descending order. And once I do that, I have my data frame DF, which is for the daily, and uh, in DF, which is for the 60-minute uh, uh, chart data. Then I create a Renko function called DF2Renko, where the input would be your data frame name, and N is the, uh, the brick size. So using the uh, Renko stock trends package, I essentially uh, first convert the headers into lowercase and then drop any null values and assigning the brick size of N where I can set it to 20 or 10 or whatever. I then output the uh, data frame uh, on a Renko open close format. The next step is, of course, to create the Renko chart function. And here I've used matplotlib. Now I know that there are many packages out there. And if you read any of the previous articles that I've published, you have uh, MPL Finance and a couple of other charting packages, which essentially create the uh, Renko charts for you. But the problem with that is um, you wouldn't be able to manipulate the data any further. The advantage of using this method is that we get an output uh, which is a data frame which uses the Renko open close, which means that you can further extend the script to add additional uh, things like, for example, calculate the moving average and uh, or calculate the RSI, so on and so forth. So we begin the charting by importing the matplotlib. And here again, I've created a function called plot Renko. And here, what I do is I input the number of bars to show the data frame, uh, the step, and the adjusted close. So uh, quickly running through this, the uh, num is essentially the number of uh, bars, Renko bars, to plot on the chart and to get the list of entries. Um, this function automatically captures the minimum and the maximum value so that it sets your chart scale accordingly. And following that, it then iterates through each of the open and close and uh, using the Renko uh, matplotlib rectangles patches, it plots the rectangles. So as you can see in the comments here, when the open is less than close, meaning bearish, it gets the index and open price, and then it colors it and adds a rectangle patch. Um, on the final few lines of this, uh, the, of this function, I do have a couple of uh, uh, handy little tools which you can um, um, change. So for example, plot X horizontal line essentially is my kind of an individual uh, marker where you can plot a horizontal support or resistance line, so on and so forth. Last but not the least, we now run the uh, functions. So I give a Renko size of 20. Then I call the function df to Renko. And uh, I also do the same for the uh, daily and the hourly chart time frame. So let's execute the script and see how it looks like. Right, so here you would see that uh, the number of rows or the total length of your data frame is 899, whereas here you have 549. So the chart that you're looking at here is a Renko box size of 20, but here we use the daily close. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, you can uh, customize the AXH line. So here I've put as 4590 as a retracement level with, with some comments. And uh, the matplotlib also plots this uh, neat little legend, which tells you the actual price that uh, uh, the instrument is at now. And it also plots it on the chart so you know exactly where the price is relative to the previous Renko close. Similarly, if you move to the uh, lower chart, here we have the same Renko um, chart using a 20 pip box size, fixed box size, 
but using the uh, hourly chart. So essentially what I usually do is I compare, I, I look at the uh, daily chart to see any potential trading opportunities and then I use the one hour chart in order to time my trades. Now this script is uh, uploaded to my GitHub page and you can see here this is the convert MT4 OHLC to Renko and this automatically uh, takes you to the page where you also have uh, the CSV files which I just spoke about. All you need to do is if you have your own CSV file you simply change the file name here um, and you can ignore this bit for example or if you have two different time frame data you can just upload the CSV files, um, change the file name and to change your Renko brick size, that is what you would do here, and it would plot the Renko chart. So guys, I hope uh, this video has been uh, helpful to you, and if you have any questions, feel free to drop it in the comments, and um, see you in another video. Thank you. Bye-bye.